So the ultimate question that everybody keeps asking in regards to Kang the Conqueror is one, is he being set up as the next big Avengers villain, which definitely seems to be the case for a smaller type of phase that they're going for now, but also the other big question that accompanies that, is he going to lead to the introduction of the Fantastic Four and Galactus? So let's just get this right out of the way. Kang is, as many of you have discovered recently, one of those characters whose history and origin has become so convoluted that honestly, if they were to do anything that literally doesn't follow the comics, it would make sense. And if they followed any of the comics or any origin for him and how they set him up with the time manipulation and multiverses and everything, again, it could fit right into who Kang is and how he's described in the comics and what he does. It's literally so confusing that you can't even follow all of it. Is he a descendant of Reed Richards? Yes. Of Doctor Doom? Yes. Is he a time-traveling pharaoh? Yes. Does he have relations to Reed Richard's dad? Yes. So whatever route they end up taking, it can be something that I think we can all agree on will be different and a little bit less complex than what they did in the comics or keep doing in the comics, I should say. Now, at the same time, is he here because they're going to set up the Fantastic Four and Galactus? Well, the Galactus bar, no. Galactus doesn't really have much connective tissue to Kang unless they're gonna say that Galactus in the future failed to take down Earth, and then maybe he gives Kang time-traveling technology to try to do it in the past and summon Galactus, which, oh boy, that's a, that's a mouthful after I say it, but at the same time, maybe he could be that type of puppet character. Again, we don't know. But at the same time, I think they take on a more simple approach and do have Kang set up, at least in some regards, what is going to be the Fantastic Four. Whether that is just introducing a character like Reed Richards in the third Ant-Man, and then having him build up the Fantastic Four, or whether it's going to be something completely different, like they multiverse the Fantastic Four into the existing MCU. Again, anything is possible, but I definitely do think that Kang will be involved to some degree with the Fantastic Four. Now, how you would do it, that's the most complex part, because again, Kang is known for complexity and convoluted elements of every part of his origin and story, and the Fantastic Four, we have no idea what they're planning, but they did announce, right when they announced that a third Ant-Man would happen, the Fantastic Four was in development. Now, with the connection between Kang and the Fantastic Four already existing, and of course them slowly bringing in all those cosmic elements and multiple things that could automatically jump and make a connection into the Fantastic Four, it sort of makes sense that maybe, as their first big introduction and team up with the MCU, if they do work with the rest of the heroes we know, aka the new Avengers, to take down this time-traveling monster villain guy from the future and the past, or another multi- never mind. Boy, you can already tell there's gonna be videos of people mad that Kang isn't just like the comics. You can already tell. Just like when they were like, Yellow Jacket doesn't look accurate, because he's not wearing a yellow leotard. 